Right, got a, an implicit differentiation question from um, the international paper. But, but the new specification, they call it P4, uh, October 2022, question 11. Um, we've got a set of the curve, uh, which looks like that. We're going to find dy by dx in terms of x and y. Uh, and then it tells it wants us to find out where where q is. Um, P and q represent sort of the furthest north and furthest south. Uh, and we're going to find out where, how far Q is south of O. Uh, right. So we're going to uh, differentiate this implicitly. Um, we've got. So we've got. We're not going to. We're not going to multiply this out. We're just going to leave it as it is um, because it's the form that uh, they give it in the uh, the question. So it's something cubed. So when we differentiate in terms of x, oh, it's, it's stick the three in front, the power of the bracket. To the power of one less, so we sort of pretend it's uh, it's x cubed, but it's something cubed. So three times the something squared, the same as x cubed would be three x squared. But because it's not just x, we're going to multiply it by that differentiated. So we've got to differentiate that bracket. The x becomes one, and the y becomes dy by dx. The ten y squared. Well, we differentiate it as y and multiply it by dy by dx. So two will go in front, power one less, so it'll be 20y times dy by dx. Um, then the 108x just becomes uh, 108. Then I need to uh, isolate the dy by dx. So I'm going to multiply this, this sort of bracket out, this one. So I'll do 3 times x plus y squared times 1, and 3x plus y squared times dy by dx. Uh, so when I times it by 1, I get that. When I times it by dy by dx, I get this. Uh, the rest stays the same for now. And uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this term over the other side. So I've just got the dy by dx terms on this and take out the dy by dx as a factor. So I'll have dy by dx and then in a big bracket, the three times x plus y squared plus 20y. I divide by that bracket and uh, that's the given answer. Uh, if you struggle with this sort of thing, I, I wouldn't worry too much. I tried on chat GBT and uh, he got it wrong loads and loads and loads of times and not just one way either multiple different ways um that was, that was one of the worst i don't know what the others are doing there um loads of different ways he got it wrong it finally got it wrong the other day um if i got it right the other day sorry um finally um but i had to give it a lot of help so uh the, the computers aren't uh, taking over just yet you request a model that is not compatible with this engine. Yeah. Right. Um, what, see, my predict is naught. I, I don't even know what it's saying there. Um, no, just multiple different wrong answers. Oh, dear. Anyway, enough of that. So, anyway, back to the question. Uh, so, curves the model. So that's, there's a cycle track, it says. Points P and Q. Further it's north, further it's south. Use what given by a find out how the point Q is south of O, give your answer to the nearest 100 metres. Now, just here and here, um, the, the, the curve is horizontal, the dy by dx equals to zero. So, uh, so P and Q, uh, dy by dx equals naught. So that top line of the fraction needs to be zero. Incidentally, just here and here, the bottom line would be zero, but um, good luck with making that zero. Uh, just here and here, so the gradient sort of uh, math error, infinity. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the dy by dx is naught means the top line is zero. Uh, if I take the if I divide by three after I've done uh, the, the uh, three times x plus y squared over, I end up with x plus y squared is 36, so the x plus y is plus or minus six. Now I've got two solutions here, so you think, well, maybe one, one solution for each. Actually, when you put x plus y equals six in, uh, into here, um, you actually get both solutions because I know just here x x plus y is going to be going to be positive because they're because x and y are both positive. And it turns out when I put x plus y equals six into into the original uh, equation, uh, which look like this. If I replace the x plus y with six, um, I get two solutions. So here's my original equation. I'm going to write that as six cubed. 10y squared, I'll leave it alone um, and replace the x with 6 minus y. And uh, I see I've got quadratic now, which is going to give me two solutions because I've definitely got uh, 
uh, a solution there. The um, multiply out that bracket, 648 minus 108y, take it all over one side, stick it in the calculator, and we get two solutions, 3.1 and minus 13.9. So this, this must be uh, the minus 13.9, um, the y value. Um, and that's 3.1 there. If I, if I were to put minus 6, x plus y equals minus 6, it doesn't. It gives me a, a, a quadratic with no solutions. Uh, and if you like, this this, this line here, so that it goes through P and Q, that would be the line x plus y equals 6. So the answer we want then is 13.9 uh, is kilometres uh, sort of south of O, because it's that, that distance. You could write it as 13. Thousand nine hundred meters. Um, it would say it wanted to the nearest hundred meters. Either of those answers uh, would be okay.